Hello guys, this is going to be a quick message from the Divine Masculines to the Divine Feminines of what they want to share and express to you right now in this moment of this reading, what they want to get off their chest. So as you can see, I'm using Divine Masculine Dark Truths from beautiful Liz Harrison from Guideway Angels. So what is it the Divine Masculines would love to share and express to the Divine Feminines from their true self? Nice clear message, please. Let me message message you. If I don't reply, I'm planning what to say. I get I get stressed when you message me again asking what's wrong. Nothing was wrong, but now it's because I feel paranoid I've done something wrong. Don't rush me. Huh? So the Divine Muskins are saying, let me message you. Don't um, worry if I haven't replied straight away. I've taken in the message. You've, you know, I've read your message. And I'm gathering my words of what I want to say to you. But now I'm getting myself in a state because I'm getting paranoid that you're thinking that I'm ignoring you and um, that I don't care. And it's really stressing me out. So allow your divine masculine to message you. Um, and this may not resonate with all of you because, you know, your divine masculine could have been silent for a long time. Um, but... It, some of you this will resonate with so let your divine masculine message you and um the best thing i can say for that is for you divine feminines is to focus on yourself there is nothing for you to do apart from being just focusing on yourself because this isn't about the physical person it isn't about the divine masculine it's about yourself um, so don't put pressure on your divine masculine or don't panic yourself thinking, you know, oh my goodness, you know, trying to, to push them to respond to you or, you know, to, 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 you're communicating with them and then just not saying anything. There is nothing for you to do apart from focus on yourself, because, as I said, it isn't about the physical person. It's about what's going on within you. This is a relationship with yourself. You don't need to worry about what's happening with your divine masculine, what they're not doing. And the reason why your divine masculine responds like that and they stay quiet or they don't respond is because this love is so overwhelming and you're be you behaving like that is you're in a place of fear and they can feel this fear so then they feel fearful and they just and um, that's when they get paranoid and very stressed and it they just reflect back to you what's going on within you you're rejecting yourself by keep reaching out to your divine masculine and pressuring them saying well you know well, are you going to get back to me or you know or rushing your divine masculine you're showing your insecurities you're showing your despair you're showing that you're desperate you don't need to do any of that you need to focus on yourself have respect for yourself and when you do that your divine masculine will reflect that back to you at the moment if you are if this is resonating to you you're not respecting yourself and you're not um, you don't feel your worth because if you felt your worth and deserving of this love you wouldn't be keep reaching out to the physical person to your divine masculine and i know that this love is unexplainable and nobody understands it um, and it drives you crazy, this love, because you love this person so much. But that is there for a reason. You're, you're meant to feel that way because that is waking you up to the greatest love of all. And that is loving yourself. This is what this love is all about. It's for you to wake up and to deal with yourself, to deal with your insecurities and to, to face your fears. And when you do that, so does your divine masculine and they reflect that back to you and they'll be messaging you all the time and they'll be in touch all the time. They come back to you. There is nothing for you to do in the physical apart from you getting your energy sorted out, being in a place of peace, feeling peaceful, being happy, feeling whole within yourself. And by doing that, your divine masculine feels exactly the same because you're one soul. So I really do hope this message has helped you and helped you understand why your divine masculine is not replying to you or, you know, what's going on with your situation. I know for some of you it won't be. Um, but, you know, if, if, you, if you have messaged your divine masculine a long, long time ago and they haven't been in touch, again, no, so much is happening behind the scenes. And by... Your divine masculine behaving in this way by ignoring you, by being silent, um, is, is you're learning in that time. 
You're learning about yourself in that time. You're dealing with rejection, abandonment. You're facing those fears. And that's when, you know, as I said, in the silence, when they're not responding, when they're not doing anything, it, that they are doing so much because you're doing so much within you. So thank you so much for joining me. And I really do hope you understand me and it's helped you and you're feeling more peaceful about this situation if this does resonate with you. And I hope you have an amazing, blessed evening, blessed day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.